Welcome. This short video for Blue Water Trader is going to talk about the basics of operating the symbol manager window. So on a new login, I'll first get the Blue Water Trader window. After everything's loaded up, I'll get the symbol manager. And that's what I want to talk about now. So I'm just going to grab the edge and expand this a little bit. On the left hand side, I get listings for the different exchanges that are available to me. So these are different futures exchanges and I'm going to start with some examples from the CME. So to the left of CME, there's a small arrow. If I left click on that, it's going to give me a list of different symbols that I can look at, different futures on the CME that I can get prices on and trade if I want to. So I'm going to go to the mini S&P, for example, ES. If I click that little arrow to the left of ES, I'll see the expirations that are available to me. So I've got ES Z18. If I right click on that one, I'll get a small menu and I can select to subscribe. So if I left click subscribe, boom, I get the ES Z18 up here. It's updating the current price. So I can see it trading, going red and blue, whether it's on the bid or the ask and so forth. I can also do some more markets. So I'm gonna go over to crude oil, for instance. This one, if I left click, I have multiple expirations over here. So I'm gonna pick out the current front month. Uh, aside from the right click option, I can also double click an expiration to pull it in. So if I double left click, that pulls it in as well. So now I have a couple of markets. I added in the current expiration for the mini S&P. I also added in the current crude oil. You can put in as many as you want in this. list. You can put a number of markets here. Once I've got the market added and I'm seeing some information about price and trading, I have other functions that are available to me. Obviously, I want to do more than just see the price. So if I right click on one of these listings, I have a menu that comes up. It's got different options that I can use to either open up additional interfaces or to help manage the symbol, whether it be on managing a trade, maybe rolling it over to a new expiration. In this case, I want to try and start opening up some new interfaces. So if I wanted to start doing some trading on the mini S&P, I can either go to simulation live and then open up a new trade interface. In this example, I'm going to go ahead and try and open up some simulated trading just to get started. So I'm going to go to simulation and left click on dome. And now I get a new trade interface, a dome, a depth of market explorer for that symbol for the mini S&P where I can start doing some trading if I want to. I just have to pick out my account, uh, put in a lot size, and I could start firing in some orders. So I'm going to go ahead and buy. So now I've got a position on, I've started doing some, some traded on the mini S&P. Aside from my dome, I also want to open up some other items. So if I right click the listing again, I'm going to go down to charts now. I want to get a chart for the mini S&P. So I'll go to charts, standard, and left click on price volume and I'll get a new chart open on the mini S&P. So I'm going to get a price volume chart. It's just a candlestick on top and a volume study below. And I start seeing some current chart information for the mini S&P. So that's how I open a dome or a chart. I can open additional ones if I wanted to do more charts, charts, standard, and I'll open a market profile chart for instance too. So now I have a couple of different charts going on. If I wanted to, the other kind of chart or interface I have to place orders besides the dome is a trade chart. So if I right click on the listing and I go back to simulation, I could pick out a different order interface. So a trade chart, for instance, it's going to open up a new chart where I could place orders on the mini S&P if I wanted to do that instead of a dome. That's just a matter of preference. Either way, you open them from that right click menu. So each time that you go back here, you have some other options. We've opened up some domes and charts. I put on a trade here earlier when I opened the dome. I can even manage that or get out of it. So aside from just managing it on the window, if I pick out my SIM account that I'm trading with, and then I right click and say flatten position. It closed me out of my open position. On the crude oil, if I wanted to get started with that, 
I can open up a trade interface as well, or I can open up some charts on that. We'll do standard price volume and get some crude oil charts going as well. Or if I wanted to start doing some trading, I could open up a depth of market explorer for that one as well, or a trade chart, whatever your preference. So now I've got some different domes and charts going, and that's how you operate from the symbol manager. You first pull over your market that you want to see by either right clicking and subscribing or double left clicking on the symbol and expiration. Once you've pulled it over here into the list, then those right click options become available to you where you can either open up the charts, order interfaces, and or some other managing of your position. So that's a basic explanation of the symbol manager in Blue Water Trader, how to pull in the symbols that you want to start seeing price information on, and then either start charting or trading. Look for more videos to cover further functionality in the future.